Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new video here today and what we're going to be doing today is going to take a look at all of the GCW Royal Rumble winners in history. Now the first Royal Rumble we did was 2013 and then we went on till 2020 obviously and had a Royal Rumble every year and now it's 2021 and the Royal Rumble match is about to come out. So now we're going to look at the past Rumbles, who has won it. We're going to look at all the finishes of the Rumbles in the past I'm working on the 2021 Royal Rumble and I hope to get it out soon. I'm not too sure when it's going to drop yet, but it will definitely come out within like a week or two. That is for sure. And now I would say let's get right into the first Rumble, which is the Royal Rumble 2013. And you can see this is my first Royal Rumble and it is absolutely terrible. You know, the posing... Like, I take way too few pictures, you know, the, the storylines are not good at all, you just have that random one of five USA warrior in there that I found back in that day. And, you know, it's just very, very random what, what is going on in this Rumble match. And then in the end, um, let's go here, alright, all uh, here we have Kevin Nash in there, we have John Cena, like, just look at the posing, it's very bad. In the end, uh, the winner of this Rumble match was Jeff Hardy. And um, back in the day, I can just tell you, like, everything, like, looking at it back now is so awful that, you know, even the, the storylines, they, they didn't make any sense. And, you know, that should kind of show you that when you start, you're most likely not going to be good. And if you just stay at it, you'll, you'll get better and better. And, you know, we've been doing this for eight years. And you can see how much improvement GCW has gone through since here, the very first Raw Rumble. You know, I can't even really tell most of the time what is happening here. You know, this is supposed to be a code breaker. Now, now this is going to be a whisper in the wind elimination, which is kind of weird. And now Jeff Hardy won. So uh, let's move on to the next Rumble, which is the Raw Rumble 2014. We do have some improvements here. Uh, we have Chris Benoit in this one. And, uh, you know, the storylines were a little bit better uh, here because uh, this year was won by CM Punk. And I had a whole storyline going on where John Laurinaitis took over GCW and, uh, you know, bullied CM Punk, wouldn't give him uh, another... GCW title opportunity and then Punk had to go through the Royal Rumble and then go on to Wrestlemania to win the championships. The final two were Chris Benoit and CM Punk and Chris Benoit was kind of like a surprise entrant um, in that match so uh, this is the finish. This was kind of creative but you know still GCW at that time I, I can just say wasn't good at all. The posing you know uh, it Stuff is just happening too quick, too few pictures. It is just not great, but CM Punk was the winner here of this Royal Rumble. Then moving on, Royal Rumble 2015. Now the posing, I can see, has improved a lot here. And uh, the arena is still, eh, it is not great looking. But, you know, my stories made a little bit more sense. You know, we have established uh, certain guys like Sheldon Benjamin, Big E were big names in GCW back in the day that I have kind of, you know, booked myself into a, a better position. And this match was all about uh, the push of Tyson Kidd, who ended up winning the Royal Rumble. I thought that was really unique back in the day. I did plan a big Tyson Kidd push. I mean, he won the Rumble, went on to Mania, lose the, the championship match in the end. But... Um, you know, Tyson Kidd never really worked out too well. You know, Bray Wyatt was so dominant back in the day, and he eliminated Bray Wyatt there. So that was a huge moment. And yeah, uh, Tyson Kidd won. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it has never uh, turned into like a huge push for him. You know, nowadays we don't even uh, have him on the roster anymore. Now, 2016, you can see here the production level has gone up quite a lot you know back uh, in that day it was still just music in the background though and this was uh, uh, pretty much a story I had planned for a while you know this was uh, Umaga come into GCW dominate for like half a year 
is what he did, then win the Royal Rumble, and then all I, I had planned for it was a big championship match against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, which at that point I thought was a really cool storyline. And you can see the posing and stuff like that is definitely better here. And not perfect, definitely. But, you know, it, it looks a lot better, you know, the lighting is a lot better, the, the arena looks a lot better, so you can see the improvements here. And uh, this was kind of like a cool thing, a uh, unique storyline that Triple H and Vince came in to eliminate Brian uh, because they had a Mania match planned for him, the debut of Shinsuke Nakamura that was back in the day, so they eliminated him so he can't go for the title because they wanted him to have the big match with Nakamura. And then it ended up here with The Rock and Umaga in the uh, final two. And uh, Heyman came in, you know, Rock knocked him out. Umaga, Samoan Spike. And then uh, there goes Rock and that set up the big uh, Roman and Umaga match that I thought back in the day was pretty cool to do. And yeah, uh, that, that Rumble I would definitely say was an improvement after all. Okay, now we have the um, 2017 Royal Rumble. This was actually the first Royal Rumble I did after moving out. So the arena is a little bit smaller because I moved to an apartment on my own. And you can see I had Okada in there, you know, as a surprise entry that was setting up the match with Cena at WrestleMania 5. You can see that here. Pretty cool Okada custom for, for back in the day. You know, now we have the New Japan figure that I'm going to be having soon. And, you know, the final three was uh, Okada, Cesaro, and Roman Reigns, and I think we did a, a few fun sequences here. Um, nice German suplex there by Okada. Um, okay, that was a pretty cool sequence. You know, back in the day, the, the, the um, frames per second were still slower. Rainmaker, Spear, Okada, jump Spear into Cesaro. I thought that was pretty cool. Then he goes for the Tombstone. Reigns uh, counters. And um, Okada hangs on here, comes back, tries to go back into the tombstone, Reigns counters. Now he does the kind of spear over the top rope, holding himself in. I, I'm not sure if that's very realistic at this point, but you know, I thought back in the day that was cool. And now uh, Roman Reigns goes for the Superman punch, Cesaro counters, European uppercut eliminates. Uh, Roman Reigns and wins the Royal Rumble. You know, that that year, I didn't really have a plan for the GCW Championship match at Mania because all the big stories were happening uh, apart from that. If you watch WrestleMania 5, it will make sense. You know, I just needed an opponent for Styles. You know, all the big stuff was going to happen afterwards. And I thought Cesaro and AJ would be a great match. And um, it was a very great match at WrestleMania. And yeah, Cesaro won. The Royal Rumble in 2017, which was a, quite a big surprise. You know, this was the first year I also tried, you know, with the, you know, green screen and some, you know, edits. Um, that was like the first year I started doing that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. But, you know, obviously still uh, compared to today, this is um, not that good at all. But Cesaro, the 2017 Royal Rumble winner. Okay, now we have the Raw Rumble at 2018. I did love this arena, to be honest. It looked really cool. And, you know, this was all about the rise of Kenny Omega. Um, you know, you have him in there with the uh, Bullet Club. You know, now Gallows is going to go flying. Anderson just went flying. Now Cody made his debut here and, you know, helping out Bullet Club. Here, V-Trigger, you know, posing and, and lighting and all that kind of stuff is good. You know, AJ Styles is, you know, that was the year after Kenny kicked AJ out of the Bullet Club. You know, long time storytelling. You see Cody with the low blow helping uh, Kenny to eliminate AJ. And you know, we're still going with that Bullet Club storyline today in 2021. I think um, the long term storytelling pick fets is like the best, the most fun thing I can do. And I'm very proud of the uh, Bullet Club story, what we have going on here. And uh, final three. Wyatt Nakamura and uh, Kenny Omega. Poison Rana here. 
Wyatt tries to eliminate Kenny. And there comes Nakamura, Kinshasa, Wyatt goes. That set up the WrestleMania 6 match between Nakamura and Wyatt. There comes Kenny. Nakamura goes uh, for the uh, Exploder. Kenny counters. Now, there we go, Exploder. And now he's going to go for the Kinshasa. But um, Gallows and Anderson are going to come in, you know... Uh, distract Nakamura, hold him by the feet. Nakamura can't go for the Kinshasa. Kenny V trigger in the, the corner, vicious, and eliminates Nakamura. And that set it up. Kenny is now going for the main event title, the GCW Championship. He was undefeated at that point. You can kind of read there what he was saying. And now he's going to a main event for the uh, for the first time, WrestleMania. And you know, nobody could beat him for the IC title. He left it in the ring. It was uh, put on the line in an elimination chamber. And Kenny moved on to the main event. And you know, Kenny's booking in GCW is one of my favorite things I've done. You know, the rise of Kenny Omega. That is definitely uh, one of my favorite things I've ever done in the pick fed right here and you know it really started taking off here with the Royal Rumble victory of Kenny Omega uh, in 2018. Now 2019 here we are um, setup looks pretty good I think we have the new extreme sets there and um, you know still going on the AJ and Cody feud there uh, with the Bullet Club you have seen that Cody just pushed him into Strowman and um, yeah, now Strowman is eliminated. Uh, Seth back in the day, not the Messiah yet. Jeff Hardy, not that great heel persona that we have nowadays. And here, very important point. AJ eliminates Cody like this, you thought. But Cody's feet are actually still on the table, so he's not eliminated. That will play a part uh, later on. There comes Hardy eliminating Dolph. That was a pretty cool elimination there. And then, yeah, this is going to be a pretty nice one, too. I don't know how Jeff calls this move, but I always thought that it would be very cool if he did that for Rumble Elimination. You know, that backwards power bump or however you want to call it. And then you thought it came down to AJ and Jeff. And, you know, that, that kind of told the story that Jeff Hardy always came short uh, of winning the big one. And this is why he ended up turning heel against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 8. And now we have this heel Jeff Hardy. AJ Styles think he has won. Out comes the Bullet Club pointing out that Cody, you know, has his feet on the table. He was not eliminated. Putting Cody back in. Cody goes low blow to AJ. And now, you know, I thought that was a pretty cool false finish. Cross Rhodes. And now you think Cody has it and he's going to go against his, you know, Bullet Club mate in Kenny Omega. At WrestleMania 7, and then AJ counters low blow, Rana, Cody is out, AJ still gets the gets the match uh, for WrestleMania against Kenny Omega, the one-on-one -on -one match, which was one of the greatest matches in GCW history, I think. You know, WrestleMania 6 was the three-way with Punk, and now they had the one-on-one -on -one match at WrestleMania 7 after AJ Styles won the Rumble here in 2019. And now we're on 2020, where, um, you know, this was a very controversial finish that a lot of people didn't understand, even after I did an explanation video on it. I, I don't really want to talk about this again, because it kind of, like, gets me angry that people don't, don't get it. But uh, l let's just focus on the winner here of the Raw Rumble. And... Um, the Rumble winner here was Brock Lesnar, you know, he went in at, at number one or two, I think, so he won the whole thing, and you know, that was pretty much for the push of Brock Lesnar, who then went on to WrestleMania 8, beat Kenny Omega, that was the first time ever Kenny Omega was um, uh, pinned in a GCW ring, and um, yeah, now Lesnar is still going. Uh, as the GCW champion going into WrestleMania 9. And, you know, obviously, this year, the Rumble winner is going to go against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 9. Who is it going to be? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. But here, I think we did a pretty cool finish for the Rumble. It was very exciting. 
Um, you know, you kind of thought that Lesnar would eliminate himself here. Now he goes for that um, big knee, but AJ ducks, but Lesnar able to hold on to the rope, struggling. AJ on the other side goes for the phenomenal forearm to finish him off. Lesnar catches him midair, belly to belly to the outside. Lesnar wins the rumble with the feet on the apron, and that was the Raw Rumble 2020. And we have gone through every single GCW Royal Rumble winner in history. Who is it going to be in 2021? It's definitely going to be the best GCW Royal Rumble match you've ever seen. I think the improvement we did from the 2022, uh, 2020 Royal Rumble to the 2021 Royal Rumble now is the biggest improvement we ever made in GCW history, you know, in production commentary sound effects and that kind of stuff so i'm very excited to get this one out to you uh, guys this year hope you're looking forward to that hope you did enjoy this little uh, video here of the previous royal rumble winners and i'll see you all on the channel here very soon <laughs>